Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on building a no-code application for the real estate industry on Bubble. Now in this final video of our series, we're going to be looking at two applications that our own clients have built for the real estate industry. Now they are serving different markets within this industry, but this should give you a good idea of the variety and capability um, that you have available to you here on this platform. Uh, again, these are our own clients. These are real applications. I'm going to go through the landing page and, and just kind of walk you through uh, the different things that they were able to put together here. Now, if you are new around here, my name is Gabby and I am the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help non-technical entrepreneurs build applications for their business and also help them improve and uh, elevate and scale existing businesses all without code. All right, so let's take a look at our first example application here. This is Woomi, um, and this application is for real estate developers, property owners, um, agents, anybody who is managing multiple listings and needs to gather insights about their listings so that they can stand out when they're uh, you know, publishing them uh, so that they can get the right renters, buyers. This is a very data-driven application. So there are a handful of integrations that this app also has, and there's actually a list of them right here. So Google Maps, of course, to be able to plot the property on a map, we can see where it's located. Matterport is a service where you can have three, you can uh, look at 3D renderings of the property itself. So see inside of the property, the different levels. Um, Pelotarian is an AI uh, software where you can send it data. It can parse out that information according to any rules that you set up there. Um, it can aggregate on things for you and then send you the results so that you can, again, gather insights that are more valuable to the user and easier to understand. Zoopla and Rightmove both give you access to real listing databases, big property uh, databases so that you get all of those stats, all of the specs around the property. There's a lot of information around a property, right? The construction of the building, the um, neighborhood around it, the plumbing, electrical, uh, you know, how many rooms there are, what types of rooms, all, all of that stuff. Um, and so being able to gather this detail from all of these different services allows this application, right, which is kind of the central hub, taking all this information, uh, it allows the application to then parse all that information, apply some proprietary logic, you know, around uh, finding trends and extracting the right information and then presenting it to the user in a really easy to understand uh, way so that they can make smarter decisions about their property listings. So if I just scroll down here, just to kind of talk through the features, you know, how, how this all comes together. The first step is really taking in all the data. So Wumi has put it together in a very step-by-step -step you know, we're going to tackle just the rooms. Let's talk about the rooms, right? We have an address. Um, the user can also enter in their own information. Um, and as we go through the entire property, we're collecting all this data. Again, some of this information can also come from external sources. So, so there are some very serious integrations here with uh, third-party services that are helping uh, populate this and really power this whole thing. Um, you know, once we gather the information, then it goes through all of the... Um, the, the smart logic, right? So in Bubble, you have complete control over manipulating your own data, um, translating that data, right? The raw data to the user in a way that makes sense to them. Uh, and you can do this at a really scalable way. I mean, enterprise level um, uh, uh, use cases here, okay? So imagine a property developer that owns uh, many, many, many different properties and they need to be able to have things very well organized. Uh, and easy to understand very quickly so that they can keep moving forward with their own business and, and making their own decisions. Um, this application is also applying you know, their own score on the property so that they can help the user understand where are we falling short, where, where does it stand out, what you know, specs might you want to highlight to really make that listing stand out. Um, as I talked about here, we have integrations with uh, these other services. And then, yes, of course, having a dashboard for just a summary of all of this information. Also a bit interactive, so if the user wants to, uh, you know, filter through their own data in certain ways, they can make those selections. Okay, so this is a very, again, very data-driven application um, for businesses, for sure, um, that is really making full use of the uh, integration capabilities that Bubble has to work with large amounts of data as well, okay? Now let's look at our next example here. Let me just click over to HomeFlow. So this, is, this application is serving a very different market. This is now for the buyer. 
um, and more, more specifically for first time uh, buyers of homes. You know, people who haven't done this before, they're not really sure what all the steps are, might feel a bit overwhelmed by the entire process. This application walks them through that entire home buying experience by providing them with a um, really well thought out, very thorough checklist that they need to go through in the order that they would need to provide documents, um, do research, make decisions as they find the home that they want to purchase. Um, so a lot of the functionality here really is about organizing the user, organizing their own data. So providing them with a template of, look, here are things that you need to do and holding them accountable so that they have a place to go line by line, one by one, have I done this, have I done this, um, entering in some of their own details like their budget, right? So um, that they can stay within that. We've got a couple of calculators here so that they, they you know, are realistic with their numbers, um, whether it's the price of the home or a loan that they're getting. Uh, and and it, the whole problem that's actually being solved here, as we can see, is really just to make it easier. Um, for for new home buyers. Uh, there's a lot of information that you have to sift through. There's a lot of people that you're talking to, a lot of different decisions to make, and a lot of terminology that you might not uh, know about. So this is really kind of walking them through things step by step so that it's less overwhelming. Um, so again, just touching on some of the features. So this is really taking them through a checklist, helping them organize what their budget is. Um, you have the checklist here again. And this application also connects you to real estate professionals. Um, you can really build up your team of contacts that you're going to be working with throughout this entire process and organize them all in, in the application, communicate with them. And from the agent's perspective, um, someone who has multiple clients that are looking for homes, they also have a place to organize the, you know, those projects, right? those portfolios, um, between all of their clients so that they can see where, what stage is this client at? What stage is this client at? So from that side of things, this is also a helpful application. So again, both of these applications are serving very different markets within the real estate industry, but this should give you a good idea of the, the, the range of capabilities and um, use cases that uh, you can really take advantage of here within this platform. It really is up to you and up to how you structure your data. Both of these applications are quite data-driven, right? With Wumi, um, there's a lot of property data that's being injected into the application and parsing of that data. Um, with HomeFlow, this is more user-generated information. We're entering our own budgets, we're entering our own contacts, and um, you know our own numbers that we want to calculate. Uh, and we're also checking off the things that we've done according to our own journey in the home buying process. Um, and again, that just centers around how you've structured your data, how you put together your logic, and Bubble makes all of these things as uh, flexible as possible so that you can put together these very custom systems. All right, that wraps up our real estate management app video series, and I hope it's helped answer all your burning questions so you can get started on your own app. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel, then click the notification bell so you can catch the start of our next Can You Build This series about no-code apps. And if you're needing help building and launching your own custom real estate management app right now, head to coachingnocodeapps.com slash apply to schedule a free strategy call where we'll help you put together a roadmap for your app, then see if we can help you execute on bringing it to life. Head to coachingnocodeapps.com slash apply, and we'll look forward to potentially connecting further soon.